military should allow men to have beards, ladies and gentlemen. Men naturally have beards. And the more of a man you are, the more of a beard you can grow, okay? It's a sign of testosterone. I look at the military, the United States military, and I see these men walking around with their short beards, their clean shaven faces. It's like I'm confused, you know? Is he a teenager? Is that a teenager walking around? I would nowhere be intimidated if a teenager walked towards me with a, a gun, you know, pointing a gun at me. I'm like, huh? Okay, I'm intimidated by the gun, but not by the teenager, okay? A teenager is not dangerous. A man is dangerous. And a man looks like this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm growing out myself to become like a man, to look like a man. You know, I'm like 60% of the way there. And I have short hair, it's gonna continue to grow. I'm gonna have a massive beard. Men naturally grow beards. It grows on everyone, on every man, okay? It's the only thing is that you do, you have some mental insanities and beliefs inside your head, and you go take a razor and you start scraping your face, scratching yourself. Why are you doing that? I don't know. I made many videos about cutting your beard. Specifically, this video's topic comes from as a result of me making a video about if you are a man and you don't have a beard, you're not a man, something along those lines. Or if you don't have a beard, you're not a man, okay? Watch that video. It's like a few days ago I, I, uh, I recorded it. And then in one of the shorts that I did, I remixed that video and I created a short. One of the men, one actual man, a man, commented on my videos. Other, they were just boys, you know? And most of the comments are just boys. A man commented on my video and said, yeah, you know, I wanted to join the forces, I wanted to join the military, yet uh, they didn't allow me to grow my facial hair, uh, to, to look like a man, and I, so I didn't go. And I applauded him, congratulations. Let's all stand here for a moment and let's congratulate that man, okay, wherever you are. Phenomenal, that's a, that's a man, okay, phenomenal man. Congratulations for him. You know, the military, the United States military and most militaries in the world pride themselves on being, you know, so tough and the most optimal things and the most amount of intelligence. Yet when it comes to the, just the basic biology of a man, no, 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 you have to be clean shaven. Why? I don't know why. Why, why do they do it? Okay. It's maybe it's like, um, uh, the clean, it's hygienic. Okay. Let's, let's not, let's just forget that, that, uh, that they ever said that. Okay. Most human beings don't even wash their hands after they leave the washroom. Okay, I'm living in a hostel amongst like uh, people my age, you know, 21 to 35 uh, or 18 to 35. And like 90% of people don't wash their hands after they leave the stalls. So whether that's number one or number two, that's horrific to me. I can't, I can't think about what I'm touching because it might have feces on it. That's, that's ridiculous. That needs to change. Your standards for hygiene need to become improved and become better. Okay. So, um, yeah, the United States military should allow men to grow beards. It's like very natural. You become so much more intimidated by a man if you had actually looked like a man, looked like a natural man, versus looked like some insane man, you know, scratching himself and looking like clean shaven. I want you to understand, okay? From a, from a natural perspective, natural perspective, you look like you're a teenager, or number two, you look like you just lost your hair because you're going through chemotherapy, or number three, you look like you have very low testosterone. Ah, oh, poor you, little low testosterone little boy. Ah, oh, too bad. Or you just don't have the genetics to grow a natural big beard. That's too bad. That's too bad fine okay that's normal uh whatever kind of little scrawny facial hairs you can grow that i would do that okay grow that uh or number five uh you're mentally insane and you kind of manipulate yourself in some way these are the five five basic things that i see about you okay uh there's a there's a movie called kill bill by uh this uh quentin tarantino okay and in that movie there's this wise master this is like, like an asian master a spiritual master and he has a beard that's only growing on his chin and it's very long. Uh, in other places, it's not there. And he has also long hair. When you look at that, it's like, it inspires you. Wow, that's a wise man. Even though he doesn't have like perfect little geometry. Oh, my beard is a little bit not here, but here. And I have to trim it. No, like, hello, nature is just the way that it made me. Like nature over here is wild, wild, okay, wild. That's how you have to be. If you want to appear as a man, if you want to have high testosterone, if you want to be effective in the battlefield and combat, the last thing you should be doing is go scratching your face, making sure you look like a little teenage boy. Wrong, false, incorrect, wrong, okay? You should be uh, educated. Now, coming to the possibly the best military force in the, in the whole universe or the whole world, planet. Okay, you, I say universe, but uh, because uh, whatever reason I say universe, uh, universe. The best military, at least on this planet, or arguably one of the best militaries is in the United Kingdom, okay? United Kingdom. Shout out to my friends that live in the United Kingdom. Tom, I'm looking at you. Uh, why? Because it's cold, it's wet, it's, uh, yeah, it's cold and wet, okay? That's the majority of uh, the condition and climate of the United Kingdom. So when those two conditions are there, that produces uh, some strong and severe men. 
and the SAS, you know, who dares wins, the special forces of the United Kingdom, they're allowed to grow beards. And when you look at them, they actually look like men. Like when you look at their uniform, that's fantastic. Wow, yeah, that's impressive looking. And if they have a mask, like, oh, wow, cool. But if they take off their mask, you know, if they're from the United States, they just look like there's a clean shaven little teenage boys. They're like, oh God, there's like cognitive different, different dissonance. It's like, yeah, I should be intimidated. I should kind of look that like it's kind of cool, but he has like a small chin. So what is that? That's kind of like, you know, it, it's off-putting. Yet when you look at the SAS, you know, the, the special forces of the, the, the United Kingdom, you should Google them, okay? They actually look like men, like, oh my God, wow, it's a powerful man. It doesn't even matter what kind of caliber weapon he's holding or what else he's holding. He looks like a man. So obviously, whatever his conditions, his physical conditions are, that must be optimal, must be fantastic. So that's how you look, that's how you should look like as a man, okay? You should become, uh, yeah, you should become like those guys, the SAS. Uh, a man or people that there have the intelligence to, to see that uh, it's actually advantageous for a man to grow a beard. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, uh, okay, I'm gonna get into this now because I wanna share as much value as I can here in these videos. And uh, generally, have you noticed that most of the valuable things that I say, I just notice this, are at the end of the video. I just, uh, because I instantly know that people, so many people are gonna watch the beginning of the video, so many people that are in it, in initiated and don't value what I have to say and they just click out. And that's always the the trend of my, the analytics that I see, the people that watch me, like in, la in the first 30 seconds, they just click out. The majority of people click out. And then people that actually watch this, okay, now I'm talking to you, the actual people that are initiated and I can actually share my energy with you. This, wow, it's ph phenomenal, it's fantastic. This gives me spiritual power, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me spiritual strength. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like any other anatomy in your body. It needs to grow, it needs to, it needs to flourish, and this gives me a kind of protection and a safety. It, I can't explain it to words, you have to experience this for yourself. Yeah, I don't wanna sound too kinda out there, fairy tale -y, but it does, okay? Your beard uh, has strength, your beard has power, and you'll become more of a powerful man if you grow a beard. You'll become an alpha male if you grow a beard. Why? Because that's what an alpha male does. Okay? He doesn't manipulate himself in any, in any way. He doesn't change his body in any significant way. You just allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to flow through. Okay, That's what I should say. So, um, don't stifle yourself. Don't stifle yourself. Don't go to the, next time you're going to the bathroom, taking a razor to your neck, looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking to yourself like, why, if I'm a man, why am I doing this? Why are you doing this, okay? There's no good reason. I know you wanna live in a little civilized society and you can't, uh, you wanna look like all the other people that are around you and you gotta be a nice little civilized boy. <laughs> <laughs> not me, okay? I'm not like that, obviously. It's very obvious from the way that I communicate, the way that I speak. I don't want to be like that. And uh, you shouldn't want to be like that either if you're watching me up until this point, okay? I know for a fact you don't. So please, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a massive favor. And also do me a favor, okay? I don't want to uh, be alone here. I want to be amongst the men on this planet. Where are the men, okay? Where are the real men? Uh, where have all the good men gone? And I don't want to get copyrighted here. Because I know I'm, I'm fantastic. I'm making music with my words here. Uh, it's too similar to the original, so I gotta tamper it down a little bit. Um, yeah, grow a beard. It's the more most natural thing you can do. It's the most natural thing you can do. It's like you don't see a a silverback a gorilla full of hair. The more hair that a silverback has, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand this, the more uh, he's perceived to be an alpha male, okay? And the more intimidating he is, even to your own sake, if you're not an, an ape. Uh, you walk and two silverbacks are there, but one silverback is full of hair and it's and it's wild, it's up, you know? He hasn't combed himself. Oh, you gotta, uh, people are commenting on my video saying like, oh, you gotta, whatever they're saying, it's a bunch of nonsense I don't even talk about. I don't even wanna talk about that but intimidation and uh, that's just how nature made you. That's how you become powerful in nature, okay? You've gone away from nature, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you're struggling in life. I don't want you to struggle in life. I want you to be healthy and successful. So grow your nature, uh, facial hair, become a more natural man, become, look, look to nature for advice, okay? Just see this for yourself, a silverback gorilla with lots of hair, 
spiking upwards you know this is why like bad boys are always like walking around like this like hey i'm a bad boy i don't do this it's not it doesn't feel authentic to me although as my hair grows out i'm gonna dreadlock it and i'll look phenomenal and fantastic so um or a lion you know a lion's mane Ooh, that's a powerful animal think of a lion think of the most powerful primal male lion the most physically dominant looking male lion but he has a very nice uh clean shaven mane okay can you imagine that no you can't imagine that because it's a mental illness you would think to yourself my god what has that male lion done to himself uh oh i'm trying to be <laughs> there's a phenomenal picture i'm probably edited of this like little skinny male lion and he has like a nice little dreadlocked beard and a uh, little tiny hair and he looks like a, a hipster okay that's kind of what you look like except that already is more advantageous for him to just to have clean shave oh i have a clean shave you know gillette fusion they they're marketed to me very well and i have to cut my beard and i have to uh razor myself every day oh my gosh so wrong false don't do it okay stop it stop it stop it trying to clear away the confusion in your own minds so coming back to this analogy of silverback gorillas, man, I love silverback gorillas, Phen phenomenal beings. So now if you're some army general listening to me, please, my God, do whatever you can to change this in the militaries, in the militaries of the world. This is actually gonna lead to the well-being and mental health of most men on the planet. And it'll become, there'll be less wars on the planet, okay? I know you're giggling to yourself and laughing. What? This guy says that if men grow beers, less wars. <laughs> uh yes okay because if you're doing a thousand things wrong and then you stop doing a thousand things wrong and you fix one thing now you're only doing 999 things wrong you just Im improve the conditions and the planet you've improved the conditions massively even just a tiny bit okay and there's kind of a positive ripple effect so you know it's obvious that if you do a thousand things wrong and you're gonna pile another thing wrong a thousand and one things wrong you're going in the wrong direction hello don't go in the wrong direction go in the right direction go towards more nature so we're primates, we're mammals, and uh, I'm here. I know that I have a dominating presence on my environment. I know I have an intimidating presence in my environment. Not intimidating the fact that, oh, I'm an intimidating guy, like, uh, I'm a mean guy. The intimidation is not the right word. But uh, I'm respected. I am, uh, what's the word? I catch people's eyes. That's one thing. I'm going to explore this for myself here. Um... Let me just take a look at the camera. It's still recording. Yeah, because I don't know how much storage I have. So I'm, uh, you know, obviously I catch people's eyes. I am, I'm not someone to be messed with or meddled with. You know, naturally you wouldn't go and enter my space. Why? Because I take up more space with my facial hair. It's very natural and uh, easy to see. You know, apes in the wild that, like again, again, as I said, they have a muffled around, muffled hair. You know, on their bodies, their hair stands up. And the longer that the hair is, the more they're perceived as being an alpha, an alpha male. Uh, or at the very least, more aggressive, okay? Again, I'm a human being. I'm logical. I don't uh, break any laws of the land. I'm not hurting human beings in any way. I, I actually talk against that. Yet again, we're primates. And if someone walks around me, they're going to be more respectful towards me. Because I'm more of a man than you. Even if you're the most advanced army general in the whole world and you're clean shaven and you stand next to me, uh, well, obviously there's a, there's a factor of the first, the social, the social status that you have. I don't have any social status next to you, you know, for standing next to an army base, for example. There's also the matter of dominance in terms of the inner quality of your dominance, uh, which is, uh, goes beyond your, your physical body. It's deeper than that. And yet the physical body is the last representation and it also speaks to the mind of the individual, the minds of the individuals, okay? And I have not manipulated myself, I've not done anything to myself, at least when it comes to my facial hair. And I'm continuing not to, to do that. And the reason why I have short hair again, as I said many, many times in these videos, is that um, when I arrived to Sydney, Australia, I had to shave my head because I couldn't carry on the memory of my past life and past life being, you know, living with my family and all the things that I've done. So I needed a fresh start, a clean start. And it was a wise thing for me to do. Yet I'm, I'm growing out my, fa my, my facial hair and my head hair. So if I was standing to one of these United States Army generals, it would be very clear to see that I'm more powerful than them, okay? I don't wanna, I was hesitant to say this because it's like, oh wow, this is so, many will, will perceive this as like a joke or a lie, but it is, that's how I feel. Okay, I'm more powerful than them, why? Because at the end of the day, we're just primates, we're just mammals. 
And if there's a man that is, uh, sits next to me that is more dominant, that's larger in size, and it's a similar build and similar uh, characteristics and qualities, well, obviously he'll be more dominant than me. So, uh, yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Leaving the physical aspect aside, I wanna talk more about the spiritual aspect of this. Again, I'm harping on this so heavily because it's so heavily missed, you know? I'm sure you're wondering, why is this guy talking for 12 minutes about beard and facial hair? Well, this is like, this needs to be abolished. This needs to be abandoned by you and by men in general. If the, as I said, the more men that don't have facial hair is the, the, the worse on the planet is. But the more men, I'm, I'm trying to show you that you should become a man. Not that you're going to have some facial hair is going to be some fantastic thing. No, but I'm pointing to the fact that you should become a man inside of yourself. You should become more of a man. And a man doesn't shave his face. It doesn't do that. It's not natural. It's not even a mentally stable thing for you to do. I want you to understand this. You're socially conditioned towards this. And again, this should be mentioned, that I see some of these men, maybe you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, what if I shave, but I keep myself nice and trimmed and... Uh, like Jake Paul, you know, my brother said, oh, you should look like Jake Paul. Your your beard is like scary and uh, yeah, good. You know, I should be scary. Good job, fantastic. Thank you so much for, for, for saying that. You know, uh, a man should be scary. What's the opposite of that? Okay, I want you to think about it. What's the opposite of scary? Oh, he's very safe and very uh, not scary, very kind of tame. Yeah, uh, is that a man? No, it's not. Okay, again, I'm not preaching for violence or anything. I'm never saying be violent or, or uh, be, any, you shouldn't damage life in any way. Nothing. I don't damage mosquitoes if they land on me. You see, I blow them away. I don't damage life in any way. Yet I'm just here talking about your inner qualities as a man. I need to, I need to say this for YouTube's sake. So he said, yeah, I need to trim like Jake Paul and these men that shape their beards in so many funny ways. It's like, it's a feminine thing to do. It's feminine. I want you to understand. The way that my beard looks, yes, it's like uh, grown out and scrag scraggly, some people may say, and it's very wild and unkept. Yes, absolutely. Just like this jungle behind me is unkept and wild. You think, think about how insane I would be if I took uh, shears, you know, and started like trimming these uh, trees a little bit here. Oh, yeah, it's going to be so nice if I just trim it up a little bit. It's like, oh, this has to be perfect the way that I think of it. That's, that's an illusion. That's a mistake. How perfect can it be in my own mind? versus how perfect it is just the way nature made it, okay? Whatever thing that I'm gonna manipulate these trees into uh, looking like, that's just a fabrication of my own mind. And your mind may be different, but I have not fabricated my beard in any significant way, any way at all, zero, okay? I just comb it just to look somewhat acceptable, that's it, zero, nothing else. Why again, as I say this, because it's the masculine quality, it's a masculine quality. A feminine quality is to kind of shape yourself and look yourself, uh, you know, put a makeup, makeup, Hello, I'm a man going forward in life, through the trees, through the bushes, through the jungle. Okay, you think I care if some little bug lands on me and it's like, uh, I'm not so pure and sacred or anything like that? No, that's not the, the quality of myself now. I'm sure that I'll, I'll, um, I'll uh, as I passed, as I passed 32 years of age, I'm gonna change this perspective of myself and I'm gonna actually like grow up to be something or someone. And then I'll actually maybe change these facts about myself. Maybe I'll, uh, trim my beard in some way that I like and that I, is aesthetically pleasing to me, yet I'm nowhere close to that. I'm not gonna do that at all. Maybe I'll probably never do that. Yeah, probably. Because as, I, as, I, as again, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, masculine energy is going forward in life, forward. I'm going forward in every single way, any, any possible way. Feminine energy is going in, okay? It's receptive. If I can just sit here with my feminine energy, I'm absorbing the the qualities of nature, I'm absorbing this beautiful space. Masculine energy is not like that, it's going forward in life. Yet you're not going forward in life because you, things that are going forward out in life, literally, okay, your beard is growing out into the environment for you to be able to perceive and be more sensitive to life. And you're saying, oh no, no, I can't do that, I have to stop that, and you're shaving. Wrong, wrong, wrong. So, my brother should stop say, shaving, you know, Roman, Shaiduk, if you're watching this, uh, you know, my brother's 19 years of age and he's going to university. And I want to, I'm going to share this perspective with you, you know. The, the times that he doesn't shave and I call him and I look at him and he looks like a man. Like, oh wow, that's very respectable. He looks like an actual aggressive man. Even though he hasn't uh, reached the, uh, uh, the age where he has a full grown beard, 
still it doesn't matter at all you know he has some like like some chin hairs and some mustache and whatever else i'm not looking in, uh, at him and thinking oh my god you need to be a little more look like a woman you need to uh clean yourself a little bit here and oh how are you presenting yourself that's so feminine like my god you're not a man if you're doing that and you know his, his stepfather my stepfather roman shaiduk again wherever he's living i have no contact with him unfortunately uh because he's just a confused man and he's living his own life that you know that also should be said to him no one's saying these things no one's saying these things to men but uh well there you go i'm saying these things to men so i hope this video gets a million views i hope men all over the world get uh, uh get some emotionally shaken and stirred up inside and start looking at themselves in the mirror and like thinking why the hell am i shaving well ladies and gentlemen I can't answer that for you, okay? You're steeped in your own confusion. You're steeped in your own delusion. This is something that I'm shedding away from you now, okay? So just as a... Oh, man. You know, I have uh, many friends, like, for example, I have my friend Tom, Tom Belton, if you're watching this. Uh, <laughs> in the United Kingdom, you know, I've shared some things with you in terms of, you know, how to prevent yourself from conti continuing to do this addiction. And, you, and you've changed, phenomenal. Yeah, to now this one thing that you need to change. It's obvious that you need to change. You need to become more of a man. You need to become more of a masculine man. You should change this about yourself. You need to stop shaving, okay? Very particularly. See, and I see you're close to this. You're very close to changing this. So it's fantastic, phenomenal for you. So these things need to be shared. These things need to, talk, need to be talked about because, uh, let me check the camera again. I don't wanna talk uh, to no one here. 21 minutes, yes. I hope that people in the military are gonna hear this. I hope that you stand up for yourself. If you're a man, and if you're in the United States military, if I was in the United States military, you know, uh, under a contract and the, the United States Army owns me, literally, they own you, like they're your property. You're their property, okay? And that's the way that it should be, you know? You're, you're getting educated by them. Yet in this aspect, I would just not shave if I was there, you know? I don't suggest you do this. I don't wanna get in trouble. I don't wanna get you into trouble. But if I, hypothetically speaking, if I was in the United States military in the Marine Corps or something, some phenomenal branch like this, and uh, and I realized this fact, I would not shave. And my superiors, I'm sure they would be like, oh, I'm gonna reprimand you. What can you do, okay, what can you do? You can't do anything. Maybe they're gonna tie me down and, sh and shave me. That would be a breach of my personal rights. Maybe, maybe, not. I don't know. I don't know what the consequences would be. I actually, let me know, I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments. If you're in the uh, army, if you're any kind of army, and what would happen if you stopped shaving? I'm very, very curious to know. Maybe I'll Google this, probably I'll Google this and I'll uh, figure this out. So stop shaving, please. Learn to become more like a man. Learn to be a man. Learn to look like a man. And, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the right way to live. Yeah, so. This needs to be spoken about more. I'm the only one that's saying this, really. No man is saying that, hey, you need to grow a beard. I'm saying this directly to you, okay, men? Children, you know, little boys. <laughs> uh, little boys in both ways, you know. If you're a little child, a man should come to you and say, hey, you know, don't listen to the society's uh, standards and nonsense. Uh, how you should look, because you're never going to look the most amazing way that you can look. That's never going to happen, okay? You're going to go on for an infinity trying to please, please people into thinking how you're going to look. The best way that you can look, the best way you can, you should look, is the way nature made you. And the way nature made me is this is how it is. I'm not, I'm not changing that in any, uh, any way. So, wow. Yes, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the all the energy that I have to share with you for now. I'm glad that uh, you saw this little show that I made. I'm uh, sure you were entertained. And no doubt, okay, if you're a man and if you watch up until now, you cannot change this now. The energy has gone into you and, you, you know, you're going to grow into a man. You're going to grow into becoming more of a man and you're not going to turn yourself away from this fact now. So it's just a matter of time before you start looking like a man yourself. And um, yes, contribute to this video by liking this video and share this with your friends, share this with other men. This needs to go viral. This needs to go popular. More men needs to more men need to hear this. More men need to become themselves. More men need to become men. <laughs>